Wow. Come here. What are you... Where are you heading to? I live around here. Do you have a problem with that? No, not at all. I was just wondering that uh, what's this paragon of beauty I mean, doing around this environment? I live around here. Okay, I mean, that's good. Can I know you then? Okay, handsome. I am Helen. Wow. Helen. Helena. Amoto. Amoto. Show. Wow. What's um, that? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I was just admiring you in my dialect. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and um, can I have your contact then? I don't give my numbers to strangers. You get to know me for once. I mean, if you don't give your number to me, how would I get in touch with you later? Let me have mercy on you. Oh my god, this is the kind of mercy I love you having on me. It's so funny. It's so good. That's it, yeah. Um, How about I drop you off? No, don't worry. I'll be fine. You sure? I'm almost home. Thank you. Wow. Take care of you. Okay. So, um, make sure you don't fall, please. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so sad. This is bad. You had, you have left. Thank God for you. It's been a beautiful day in the land. It's been faithful. Yeah. Thank God. You just have to be very strong. Yeah. And I'm trying. You know why? I'm trying because I want to do everything to make you and Mama happy because you are my only family that I have now. But Mama is just too stubborn. She's just too stubborn. I mean, what have I done that cannot be forgiven? I don't know why she's stuck in the village there. It's okay, Brother Femi. I am here to take care of you. Yeah. You see, I appreciate you coming around. But the truth is, I, I want to thank your fiancé for allowing you to come down to take care of me mm -hmm. at this trying time of my life. Yeah, it's very funny. You would have actually followed me, but for his job. All the same, I, I want to thank him because his kind is very rare. He's just been kind. See, I want the two of you to relocate down here and manage my business. Manage your business? Yeah. You yeah. have people doing that already and they're doing it very well, so let them continue. Loretta. Loretta. Loretta, how many, time, how many times did I call you? Three times. Loretta, what is wrong with you? What is your problem? Listen, I have put you solely in charge of that business. And I want you to bring your fiancé down so both of you can manage it well. Okay. Let me think about it. Okay. It's more like that. By the way, how is Mama? I hear she now works for someone. When she's supposed to be here, helping me out. Mm -hmm. Like a family. You know Mama can be very stubborn. Don't worry. She'll come around. She'll come around. I know. She will definitely come around. That's like when I'm dead and gone. Okay? God forbid. Hey, Brother Femi, you have to be very strong. Auntie Rose! Auntie Rose! You'll be fine. He just needs to rest. Okay, so um, maybe I go to my room and wait till then you do my stuff. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you sure? Come on. I just said I'm fine. Listen, you don't know how happy I am to see you. You know, the last time I saw you was 10 years ago. That's a decade. I saw you last before my wife passed on in that ghastly accident. And ever since then, everything has not been the same. Yes, we thought you didn't want us to come close as usual. You see, the truth is, uh, ever 
since my wife passed on, I've always wanted the young woman to come around so we can go back to the way we used to be. Everything changed. Everything changed, especially when you got married to that woman. That woman didn't want us to come close to you. When you got rich. So we thought it was business as usual. I don't even know what to say. I think I have to leave too. Mm. Call me when you need to Okay. Auntie Rose, thank, thank you so much for the love and care you've been showing this family. Well, that pays me so well to do that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to catch up on the old times. <laughs> <laughs> but are you sure you're very okay? She can feel very sad. I just know it's hard, right? Yes. I am not a happy man at all. I, I wish I could write my story. Honestly, if I have my way, I, I want to live my life all over again. Brother, you know that's not possible. I know. I just wish. I wish I could. Don't always wish. What has happened has happened. Mama and I suffered a lot. We suffered a lot. Yet I have a brother who is so rich and refused to help us. You see, that's my problem. You see, the truth of the matter is, what you and Mama did not understand is that my wife, she made me who I am today. Yes. Her father set me up in business. But the only condition is that I must respect anything she says. Oh, okay. So it was your wife that told you not to help your only family? I'm afraid, yes. You see, my my wife and Mama had a misunderstanding. And Mama hated my wife because she felt my wife was bossing me around. And she didn't like it. But brother, it would have been better if you had not accepted that offer. You had a good job. Things were going well for us. Even though we were not rich, we had a great future. I know. I felt life could be better. Okay, so. Is life better now? <sighs> Going to the university was like hell on earth for me. When I finished getting a job was another hell on earth for me. Honestly, I, I'm sorry about all that. I'm so ashamed of myself. You know, I thought money was everything that I needed. No, oh, brother. Money was never everything. You had it going well for you. That girl just took advantage of your love for money. I talked you into a robot. You're right. You're absolutely correct. I'm sorry about all of that. You see, I... I kept calling. I constantly stayed in touch. But my mom made a vow to me that both of you will never visit. Yes, because of what you made us go through. You made us suffer. Mama and I suffered a lot. When we had nothing, you refused to help us. And now that we have something going well for us, you want us in your life. No, we don't need you. Loretta, hold on. Sit, sit. Sit, honestly, I am not calling you because I want to give you money. No. I am calling because I want to make peace before I die. What are you talking about? Why are you talking about death? Loretta, this man you see here is already a dead man. I am sick and I'm dying every single day. You are going nowhere, brother. Do I look okay to you? I'm sick. I am dying every single day. 
yet forgetting that an action is my looking for reaction measure for measure oh when there will be pain and no more pleasure Then it will be your turn to taste. I want to make up for everything I did to your mama. Even if it's the last thing I'm going to do before I die. Yes. Olga, your fruit is ready. Can I serve it? Oh no, please. We're still talking. Once we're done talking, I'll let you know. Olga, you can't be done talking. You still have a lot of catching up to do. Okay. But please give us some time. Please. You have to take your drugs in 30 minutes. All right, thank you. Olga, you're looking today. You're really looking good today. Yeah, all all thanks, thanks to God. All thanks to God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, sir. Thank you, too. Oh, Please. Thank you. Uh, Bono, oh, Baro Soroni. She was in Jan. Nara. Mama Tidari G. What a bad racket, good boy, a little rat on shake, cook. Lotto. Hm, a kicker. In Jemma Mali, Mamali Darijin. Ladu got to motive for. I'm not a Darijin. No Bible. Ah, oh, concern, you can't relate. Mamma, come on, hold it, Darijin. I'm not a Darijin, I'm more. Only bad big boom, 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 Kim did check on Jen Molami. Oh, my wife. I am worried. My wife. Oh, my wife. Mathematic file. Timati Kua. Ah, ah. It is so by. Ah, it is so we cool out of dread. Tell me, Yemi. I marry Mamma. I should share. Need to tell you, you know, in the meeting. I'm why you're back. Can you mama while you are? I'm not too cool. You know, Loretta, I, I seem, I just seem can't find the reason why. That with all the money that I have, with all the houses, and with all the company, I still can't eat well. I mean, I cannot be allowed to eat what I want to eat. The doctor says I cannot eat salt. I can't eat pepper. And what makes it even worse is that I can't cook with vegetable oil or granite oil. It's okay, brother. It's for your own good. You don't have to complain. Okay. Listen, I just want to eat what I want to eat and be satisfied. Not what the doctor says I must eat. You will when you are okay. I will when I'm okay. When will that be? Soon. Very, very soon. Very, very soon. Yeah. Very, very soon. Yes. I'll be fine. Yes, you will be fine. Look at you. You were not like this three weeks ago. But thank God you are better now. Yes, you're correct. I'll be fine. Let's just eat and be happy. Let's just eat and be happy. <laughs> My good lawyer friend. How are you today? <laughs> Hello? Who is there? Femi, hmm? it's just the two of us now. Did we say Loretta went to see her friend? Uh, yes, I, I said that. But I sense that there's someone at the door. Please help me check. Okay. <sighs> Femi, there is no one at home. Most of Mother Rose went to the market. I am really sorry to bother you. But the truth of the matter is I... I want to be absolutely sure no one had everything I've told you. Uh, <coughs> 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 sorry, but it's okay. It's fine. Um, I understand. 
no problem about that. And I can assure you that everything will go as planned. Perfect. Right. So I will bring the amendment copy for you tomorrow. Okay. I hope that's okay with you. Very well, then. Alright. Um, I'll be on my way. See you tomorrow. Yeah. See you later. O da mi loju pe yan kan wa lenu ona to n fe ti koro wa. Rose. Ara fun mi si Rose. Tori gbogbo gba ti lawyer pa ti wa na lo ma n da po wa ni. Awon. Omo gidi ni Rose. En to duro ti mi gba ti o si nkan ko lowo mi. Ko si nkan ti mi o le se fun Rose. Ko da. Ni o le da no well mi. She will definitely be on my well. Yes. Just take it easy on me. Yeah, sit, sit, sit. sit. Uh, thank you. Um, so, um, I'm just thinking of um, what kind of movie would you like to watch? I like, I've got a bad boy, you know, I've got a man, a man, I've got a woman, a woman. What's this about this? What's that? All those stupid men, I don't know what they do. Don't be saying they didn't care me. Yeah, it's okay, sir. I just noticed. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, I'm, I'm just thinking like, what style you like? Please, some is not fine. Yeah! Don't go. Yeah, please, some. See, I'm going to talk to you. 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 Take it easy now. Honestly, I I still can't I still can't get over that stuff you told me. And I know the time I did was definitely. Where is Mary? Where is Rose? And why are you serving us? Auntie Rose said I should serve you the drink. And Mary in tea, what's your soldier? Oh, really? Alright, thanks. You're welcome. Loretta, how are you? I'm fine, sir. You went in and I when I came the last time? Yes, I went visiting some of my friends. Oh, I see. It feels so good to have you around today. Thank you. <laughs> You're such a beautiful lady. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm sure your boyfriend must be a very lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Oremi, who fell over your book? What did he say? Uh, what I, said, you? I said you like women too much. Can you not see it? <laughs> let's, um, let's just look through this. And, uh, okay. So, all this. Go through all this part and all this. Yeah, look, just, just here. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, so what to sign here? Here. Yes. That's all. Again. Wow. Okay. This. Okay. Oh, that's fine. That's um, that's all. So, um, <coughs> sit back and relax and. I know. Have you drink? Yeah. So why is everything generally? I am grateful to God at least. Mm. Yeah. Right, then. Why don't we just cheers? Mm. Ah, this is nice. Come on. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. What is uh, it? Have you forgotten what we discussed? What did you discuss? The only thing I can remember we discussed is that nothing must happen to my friend. How can I kill a man that I have worked for for more than 20 years? The, the, the only thing I wanted to ask you was if I am included in the will. In the will? Are you, are you a member of his family? I don't get it. Look, loyal. I, I, I am like a member of his family. Which, which one is that I, I am like his family? I don't know. What, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, lawyer, this is a man I have worked with for more than 20 years. When his wife was alive, I took care of him. When his wife died, I was there for him. Now that he's dying, I am still here for him. Ah, you don't get paid for it? What, what exactly do you want? This is a man that sent four of your children to the university. I also sent another two to the United States of America. What exactly do you want from him? You're very correct, lawyer. What else do I want from a man who took care of me and my family, sent four of my children to the university, and sent two abroad? What else do I want from such a man? Eh? If not greed, what else do I want? I think that is what you should be asking yourself. And make sure you take care of this guy. You're correct, sir. This is the last time we're going to have this kind of discussion. Is that okay? It's okay, sir. Better. Thank you, sir. It's the height of deception, bad intentions, yet forgetting that an action brings reaction, measure for measure. Oh, when there will be pain and no uh, Well done. Thank you. But you shouldn't be doing this so. Why? If Madame Rose comes in and she sees you washing, she will be very mad at me. No, no, don't worry. I can do everything myself. Thank you. Okay, let's do it this way. You, you will do the washing. Why high rinse the pot? Don't worry. I can do everything myself. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes. Just find some other things to do. As in, you are really, really sure of yes, what you're saying? Yes, yes. Please, oh. What you say? Okay. Why are you doing the washing? <laughs> ah, I and Mary can do the washing now. Auntie, there is nothing wrong in me doing this washing. I do them in my house. I don't no. have a maid. Not here. We are paid to do this job. So allow us to do our job. Okay, you know what? After this very last one, I won't do the dishes again. I'll let you do your job. Hmm? Hmm. Okay, if you insist. There's something I've been willing to ask you. Mm -hmm. And each time I want to ask, I see you with your brother speaking Yoruba. <laughs> How is your mom? Auntie, my mom is fine. She sends her regards. Auntie, I must say, you are doing a very good job. You stayed with my brother for three months at the hospital. Auntie, God bless you. I went to your village, not once, not twice, to see your mom. I thought Oga was going to die. So I wanted him to see his relative before passing on. But I begged your mom to come and see Oga and she refused. Auntie, don't worry. My mom will come around. I'm here and my brother is happy. Okay, that's what matters. Your brother is a good man. Yes, Auntie. My brother is a very good man. You know, you have to get close to people before you know who they really are. Everything is not about money. Yes, yes, you're very correct. <laughs> Oga can play with anybody, <laughs> both young and old. Wow, 
I forgot to ask, what of grace and testimony? Ah, they are big girls now. They are both in the U.S. All thanks to your brother. <laughs> And Joshua and the Miracle, they are boys uh, now? Yes, they are big boys. They're in their final year in the university. Wow. All thanks to Oga. And see, I must say this, you have done well for yourself. All thanks to God and all thanks to Oga. Wow, and see. Last year, Grace got married in the US. I didn't want to go, but Oga insisted that I must go. Mm. And I went. Oh, Auntie, I'm so happy for you. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I'm so happy. Oh. Okay. Maybe I should help you do no, no, no. one or two don't things. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll do everything myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I even went as far as going to the village. Just to live for That was when she was living with her employer. The wife of the man had stroke mm. and the children they were all living abroad. I know I I must be honest, I, I have a family here too. You know, Rose and I have been like a family. Rose small. More than a family to me. People around even think Rose is actually my wife and her children mine. And I do everything for them, everything they need. And you sent the children to the university. And you even sent Grace and um, testimony to the US. I I wanted to do everything for you and Mama. Everything. But since there was nobody to come with family. And Rose was the only, only family that I, I can. The only people I knew was a family. You know? Yes, and so Rose is a good woman. And she's family too. Thank God you understand. Thank God. I have one person who believes she's a family. <laughs> but, brother family. Mm -hmm. You know that Mama does not hold grudges. She wanted us to come together, but she thought you would still be angry because she was very harsh on you when you came seeking for forgiveness. You know, if you ask me, I think it's the other way around. Because I think I I was the one who hurt you people the most. And I I owe you a lot, honestly. I, I don't know how to make it up, that's why I want my mom, because I know I owe you a lot. No, you don't know this. You don't. Mm -hmm. You see, I... I just... I just want us to be happy. I want things to be normalized. I don't know what few years more to leave. Yes, because I'm sick. You know, everything is beginning to bleed back in my, in my head. That's by the way. That reminds me. Uh, the last time I spoke to your fiancé, he told me he works in a very good organization now and he's well paid and he's doing well. Yes, he's well paid. He has a car, a house, and a fat salary. Oh. Why don't you just convince him or make him serious to come and work in our place? We could, we could pay him better. Okay. I'll oh. talk to him. I believe he will come. Uh, let me put a call through to him and then we can settle it over the phone. No, brother. No. I'll call him. Yes. Okay, that's fine with you. I believe you know him better than I do. Yes, I do. Uh, so tell me, what happened? What happened? 
How? What? <laughs> All right, okay. Let me break it down for you. You and Wilfred were meant for each other. Yes, um, Wilfred is a nice guy. Why are you smiling? He bought me a car that I'm still driving to a date. Really? Yes. So, what now happened along the line? Ah, oh, brother, you love Jews. You've not changed. I very go. I don't agree really change. Okay, um, you mean... You may have met um, Wilfred and Wilfred came with all the love, all the care and within six months they got married. As if I cannot carry you. You, look at the way you're, you're breathing. Come here, let me carry come you. Come on, come on, stop. You know I'm strong. Ah, your hands were shaking already, if you don't know. Come on, fish, Jari. Please stop. Babe. Yes, darling. You're too good. Mm, do you love your gift? Are you kidding me? I love it. As a matter of fact, I have not been given a gift all my life. Really? Yes. Well, don't worry. Gradually, we are improving and we still hope for more improvement. But you're very secretive. I never saw that coming. Babe, I wanted to tell you. But because it's your birthday and I wanted to make it a surprise. Hold up. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. It's my birthday today. Yes. <laughs> I knew you would not remember. Happy birthday to you, darling. Just cause for celebration. Yes. And I am well prepared for it, but sorry, I didn't prepare anything. But we'll sh we will sure go out and eat. You're so full of surprises. Mm -hmm. Because for you today. Really? Oh, come on, come on, don't do that again! Come here! <laughs> come on, what is this? <laughs> What is it? It's starting again. Babe, I cannot thank you enough for everything that you've done for me. It is just a gift. What if we have a child? What would you do? This is like my own child. <laughs> this is more like a child to me. Come You're here. welcome. I love you oh, so much. I love you too, baby. But then, I have a problem. Again? Come, sit. I've been wondering, your mom and everybody around you, mm -hmm. how will they feel when they find out that you've been the one buying gifts for me, doing stuff for me, everything? Baby, come on. My mom and everyone around me doesn't know anything about us. Are you serious? I am dead serious. The thing is, you love me so much. And I do love you so much too. Oh. So that's the important thing here, okay? How can I not love a cool, calm, mm -hmm. collected, ever blazing, mm -hmm. smart, beautiful, intelligent lady like you? Thank you this celebration hasn't ended. Again. It's not what you think. We're gonna go out now and marry to the fullest. I think I was looking at the bedroom. Uh, it's not you. Let me spoil it, my. It's not you. I'm not even following you. Right, <laughs> yes. that one. right yes. after you. Uh, I miss you too, Mama. I miss you. I miss you so much. And I hope you're eating. Yeah, that's good. Hi, is Mama Felicia? Mm. My regards to her, Mama. Ah, uh, work is fine. We are here doing it every day. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I will. I'll come and see you. Don't worry. Ah, mama. I know, I know, I know. Well, we're fine. What is going on? Mm -hmm. A little stress. Amen. 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 Amen, Mama. Mama, you know what? 
Let me call you back. I'm, I'm going to call you back, okay? All right, ma. All right. Yeah. That was mama. So, she wouldn't know. Was it a video call? Come on. Naughty. So naughty. I should do. She's fine. She sent her regards. Mama is not bored in the, in the village. No, no, no. Not really. She's not bored. You know, Mama Felicia is around. Mama Felicia is lonely. And she's lonely too. So, their combination matches. Better with the feathers. That's what? my mom. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. That's I'm my sorry. Mom. Okay. I want to surprise you today. Hmm. Okay. So, what is the surprise? Can you do me the honor? Of making you dinner. Really? Just tell me whatever you want to eat. Mm, okay. That would be nice. Let me see. Um... Don't stress me. Or just go straight <laughs> to the point and tell me. You know what I can do. Okay, fine. Okay, let um, let's do. Okay, let's do fried rice. Okay. Fried turkey. Okay. I I want it peppered. Okay. I don't want it dry. Okay. And let's do coleslaw. That would do. Is that all? Yes. On it. Don't move. Are you serious? Get me a glass of wine, please. In at all, that you could be cursing someone's pain. It's all about what you will get out of it, even though someone could suffer for it. Living the trail of broken heart. Oh no, someone world you tear apart. This is so sad. This is so bad. This is so sad. This is bad. You have left a trail of tears, a sea of tears. No, no. Will this go on before you realize you could be hurting yourself? Hurting yourself. How long will you go on like this? Before it dawns on you that you could be hurting yourself. Hurting yourself. You could be hurting yourself. You could be hurting yourself. It's the height of deception, bad intentions, yet forgetting that an action brings reaction, measure for measure. Yeah. My friend. Hey. Sir, thank you for coming now. Thank you too. I'll call you. All right. Hey, hey. Come go. My friend. Hmm? Let's I even forget. Hmm. Miss uh, Kechuku's daughter's wedding. Mm. When is it? Uh, three weeks from now. Mm. She even said she will bring the invitation next week. Is uh -huh. Do you know that I even forgot? <laughs> <laughs> My friend, you won't believe what happens to me these days. I hardly remember events. Is mm -hmm. uh, It's yeah. because you have many things on your head. <laughs> My sister. You're not far from the truth. Mm -hmm. This my job is so so stressful. Mm -hmm. I hardly remember things again. Mm -hmm. eh? The job is killing you. But you can stop if you want to stop now. Mm -hmm. Your brother is very rich. Yes, okay. He asked you to come to Portacop and leave with him. Mm -hmm. But no. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't listen to him. You are too stubborn. Yes, okay. yes so I am too stubborn. Yes. What so you, you expect here? me. You expect me, a woman like me, a mature mm -hmm. woman like me. I will allow my brother to be pushing me around. Eh? You're telling me that I'm too stubborn. Please do. I'm a woman of my own. Nobody should push me around. Okay, oh, I mm. give up. Mm. And just, eh, my way. just leave me and my brother. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. So I will call you, yeah? Okay, no problem. problem. All, All right. right. My dear, so since the day he has lost his family, he has been pestering us to come join him in Buttercourt. Hmm. See, serious. that is the only condition he gave us before he can assist. Can you just imagine that? How can someone do a thing like that? If you ask me, I would say, if you ask me, I would say he wants to monitor your every move. That's so selfish of him. That's the point. Yeah. That's the point. Secondly, I feel like he wants to, he wants to brag 
that he was the one who established you. He was the one who, who saw you through all your achievements. How that you... is the major point I and my mom has been considering since day one. It's, it's, it's somehow. It's How would you want to help somebody and then condition them? If you ask me, uh, are you sure he doesn't even want to inherit your mother? That's also a point we've not considered. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. My uncle can do that. No. How sure are you? Because ever since his family were alive, they still want us to come over. Even the wife came down to Ibado to take us down to Potako, but we refused. Hmm. Oh. Well, if you ask me, I would say you should be careful. Mm. I mean, what kind of man would see one who is married and want to want to let her come stay with him? He he wasn't even considering me your husband. That's so selfish of him. Very selfish. I think you should be careful. And you know, when you go over there, you would have to lose your job here. Mm. What if you can't cope there? Then, you know, coming back here is going to be like you starting from the scratch, oh, yes. trying to look for a job again. That is it. Just rethink. Don't worry. I can handle this. You don't need to worry. Um, Daddy, let me quickly check what's on the fire. Oh, okay. Because I know you're getting hungry I'm already. I'm hungry already, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be right back. What is your son saying about it? Mm, my sister. He said that the girl is his girlfriend mm. and that he's busy studying her to so know if she will go back with him to South Africa. If you ask me, I would have just said that uh, your son should take his time to avoid the breakup again. My sister, there is no time. Mo. I want him to do the right thing now. Don't, pray, don't put him under pressure. You know? Don't put him under pressure so that he will not make a mistake. Marriage is a serious thing. It's a serious thing. Let him take his time. My friend, I'm scared. I don't want another man to come and snatch her away from my son. Ah, my friend. Hmm. You've only been desperate because of your selfish interest. You say selfish interest? Yes. You will not understand. What don't I understand? Because you want, you desperately want a grandchild from your grandson. Allow the young man to take his time. Again, you are right, my friend. Hmm. Maybe I will invite you when they come around next week. Hmm. So that you see this girl for yourself. They are coming to see you. Yes. They are okay. coming. I will come. Why not? Let me be on my way. Hmm. Hmm? What do you want to go and do alone in that house? My friend, oh, one or two things. Don't you see? That is why it's not good for someone to have another child. See now. Now we are just in here. <laughs> yeah? Don't sound ungrateful. God, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I don't want to be ungrateful. Mm -hmm. eh? Forgive me. Babe, I've been thinking of something. What is it, darling? It's about your uncle. What is it about my uncle? I think you should accept the offer. Be Fred. Yeah, like, I've thought about it. I think you should go stay with him. How can you say a thing like that? How can I go stay with a man that gives condition before helping his family? What do you want people to say? Babe, I've thought about it from a different view. Listen, we are both working. Yet, it's like we're living from hand to mouth. We are working and we are surviving. Okay? And we also hope for a better future. The future for us is today. As a matter of fact, the future for us is now. Come on. Let us grab this opportunity. <sighs> we what is wrong with you? Just a few minutes ago, you gave me one million reasons not to go live with my uncle. And now you're telling me to pack my bags and go live with him and leave you right here. What are you saying? Helen, I understand perfectly what you're saying. You don't. But then, I want you to, I want you to see reasons for me too. This is not a case of shouting. <sighs> Think. Mm -hmm. Listen, you can go there now and... He might make you the head of all his organizations and estates. And so, that will be it for us. So this is what this is all about, right? Organization, head of his empire, head of that, head of this. Babe. Place. Let's not talk about it again. It's fine. I will give you time to think about it. There is nothing to think about. Think about it. I set my decision. 
think about it. I am not going to think about it. Don't think bring this about. issue into about what I told you last night. I mean, about you going to join your uncle. Babe, hey, there is no how I'm going to join him over there. Please, let's just drop this issue. What is wrong with you? I mean, it would be to our favor if you go there. You might get there now and he'll ask you to call me. Who knows, he might make me the head of his organization. <laughs> be Fred, listen. You don't get it, do you? Just... Listen to what I'm trying to say. Secondly, oh God. it will be to your own advantage too. I mean, when you get there, he, he, he will show you around your, around your estates. What are you talking about? It's not obvious. You're the only one he has now. When he dies, he's going to build all his assets to you. That's why he wants you to come now, so he can teach you how the estate is being run. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. There's no way I'm going to meet that man. Can you okay. please drop this pride? This has nothing to do with pride, okay? This has absolutely nothing to do with pride. Do you know what it means to be given a condition before being assisted? Do you? This, this was in the past. We're talking about the present. He's your uncle. Please, can we just drop this topic? Listen. Please. Please don't spoil this mood for me, it's please. Fine. It's fine. It's okay. Thank you. Babe, why are you so stubborn? Why can't you humble yourself enough and just go there? I mean, this is for our own good. We Accept this offer already. Wilfred, it is a ridiculous offer and I am not going to accept it. Why would you say it is ridiculous? Of course, I've told you this several times. <laughs> he wants I and my mom to join him over there before he can help us. And I want to prove to him that we can do much more better. Without him. You see what I was saying? I was right after all. You have pride. And you are allowing pride to set in. Mm. Even after your mom told you to go. With a clause. If I am willing. Oh, really? Yes. And I've told her several times that I am not willing to go. I will not go and join him. Please. She doesn't understand anything. Oh. You only made her see your view. Oh, God. Huh. Listen. Listen, Helen. <laughs> If you do not accept this offer, you would see a frustrated Wilfred. What are you talking about? You heard me loud and clear. Wilfred, what are you talking about? Answer me, is it your family? I don't even know why you made in my business. Ah. Helen, leave my way. Wilfred. Now I can see that you're really making good your threat. This is no threat. Since you have decided not to take up this offer, I, I, can, I can decide to do anything that I want to do to you. Wilfred, this is not good. How can you be so hostile towards someone you said you love and even married? Like I said, anything that I choose to do, I will do it. Since you have decided not to be nice to us, I have decided not to be nice to you either. Oh God. Did you understand? This is not good for us, okay? I know everyone in my family and I know how to deal with each and every one of them. Why are you behaving like this? Who does that? How? Someone wants to change your life, our lives. The only criteria is come stay with me. But no, you would not, allow, your pride wouldn't let you. Helen, your, 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 your pride is affecting me negatively. What if my uncle is not alive? Answer me. What if my uncle is not alive? Won't I and my mom make it? That's a different case. How can God send an angel to bless us and change our lives? But with your pride, you would, Helen, leave my way. Be afraid. I am. Because of the games, oh, 
not minding at all that you could be cursing someone's pain. Good morning, dear. It's all about... Wilfred, I just greeted you. Am I under an obligation to respond to you? Okay. What is the problem? Today's seizure is a problem. Wilfred, I left you in this house yesterday for work. I came back to meet you here. Now I am going to work this morning and you're still sitting down here. Oh, I didn't tell you already. That what? It would interest you to know that I have resigned from work. You did what? Wilfred, how could you do a thing like that when you already know how difficult it is for both of us to cope while working? Oh, I thought you said you were living fine. I thought you said we didn't need an upgrade. I thought you said we were fine. If you knew things were, things were difficult for us, why didn't you go accept the offer so that we can, we can change our lives? Be afraid. What has that got to do with your job? That's what I want to know. A lot. Oh yeah? A lot. I cannot go collecting peanuts every month. I cannot. If you know that you're living fine and you're working fine, please enjoy the pleasure of catching for us. Really? You know what? This is a joke. I believe this is a huge joke you're trying to play on me this morning, okay? Probably you took an excuse from the office to spend at home, you know? Just to, to, to write, don't let... <laughs> Very soon, you will know the bitter truth. When there will be pain and no more pleasure yeah. Then it will be your turn to taste To have a taste of your medicine Here you come to taste To have a taste of your medicine Then it will be late We Fred We Fred because you know I love you so much and I can do anything for you. That is the reason why you're behaving this way. Because you know I can never leave you no matter what, right? Babe, you know I love you too. I love you so much too. But this is about us. You have refused to take the offer and that is my concern. Okay, fine. Supposing I join him now and he didn't ask after you I even want you to come over. What are you going to do then? That's good. Just tell him that your husband is jobless or that you can't stay there without your husband and then he'll call me to so come over. Oh. Or that you can't stay here without your husband. Very simple. And if I tell him all these things you're asking me to tell him and he still did not ask you to come over. There is no how he would not oblige. But then if he doesn't, leave it to me. I'll devise a means already. I can't. Ah, uh, my friend, I, I can't, I can't do this, I can't. Babe, the only thing that you need right now is time. Time to think. Time to strategize, my friend, critical there's thinking. There's nothing to think about here, my friend. Just open your eyes, listen to what you're saying. There is nothing to think about. See, I actually brought this issue up so you could see reasons with me. But you're not just... There is... What is wrong with you? There is a lot to... You know what will happen? Do not... Talk to me about this again. My friend. This conversation is over. Never should you bring up this issue again. We friend. We friend. You could be hurting yourself. Oh, when there will be pain and no more pleasure. Then it will be your turn to taste, to have a I taste saying, of your I met my son with this beautiful girl on the way. Mm. Good looking, nice and well mannered. Ah, it's you. Uh -huh. So she's well mannered. Mm -hmm. Somebody that you just met. My friend, how can you just conclude? It's too early now. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's too I mean, early that uh, to know. I mean, how long did you even stay with them to, to discover all these things about, about her? I was with them close to an hour. So just one hour, yes. you're already concluded. Mm. Ha, my friend. <laughs> my 
my friend, leave Mata. The just, girl is good. Just tell me that you like her. That's I all. Like her. Yeah. I like her. I like okay. her. Okay, you like her. I like her. Mm -hmm. She's good. Okay. I pray that she's all this. Uh, all this. She's all this one that you're praising her because all mm. these girls, I don't trust them at all. Mm. You might just be praising her because uh, when she saw you, maybe she must have knelt down. <laughs> she even want to lie down to greet you. Mm -hmm. My sister, all now wash. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. This girl might enter into she will, when you people will now marry her into your family. Mm. She will turn tigress overnight. Go for it. I know what I'm talking about. Mm. You see that my brother wife, mm. my brother. Mm. Mm. Do you know that the wife is the genesis of the problem that we are having? Is your cool. She's the one now. Hey, immediately my brother married her. This woman just turned my brother against me. Mm -hmm. So don't conclude yet. Don't conclude though. And you just kept her quiet. What will I do now? Throw her out now. I should throw her out. Mm -hmm. So all this one that you're talking about, eh, she's a good girl. She's very man and this one. Mm -hmm. I pray that she's all these things that you're saying mm -hmm. because she can change tomorrow. Do you know I asked my son a question? Mm -hmm. I asked him, have I ever complimented any girl before? Mm -hmm. He was looking at me. Mm. Nay, I like this girl. Mm. I know you like her. I love her. I pray that she turns ah. out well, though, that she I will pray not change. So. Because I then. pray she does <laughs> not behave like your brother's wife. I pray so too. Ah, I pray that I'm not to buy I'm to my sister. I just pray that uh, this girl is real. Pray yeah. too. Let her not turn out to be like my brother's wife. God that she turned will. against me. Immediately, mm -hmm. my brother married her. Mm -hmm. So she family. just waited and she entered into the family. Meanwhile, I was the one that introduced her to my brother. Hey, she is the know. genesis of all the problem that I'm having with my younger brother. Ha. It's your yeah, So I pray that your own does not turn out like that too. Not be like that too. Amen. No. Amen. She's a very good and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My friend, don't conclude here. Just say that you like her. You know, when you like a, a dog, you can even package it as a monkey. Okay. That poor effect that I'm not to buy and I'm not to. I like her. I want her to be my daughter in law. I mean, oh, it will work. I pray she does not change. Try. Hello. Yes, dear. Where is my money? What money? Do not sit down there and pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Where is my 20,000 Naira you took from my jacket? 20,000 Naira? <laughs> my friend, I never saw any 20,000 Naira. I, 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 I know you to be one who do not deny that reverse regardless. What is wrong with you? Where is my money? My friend, if you're looking for your 20,000 Naira, can you walk inside where you kept it? Then pick it up there. What, what are you saying? Have you started stealing? When did this start? Helen, stealing your money. Oh God. For the last time, do not let me lay my hands on you or force me to go into your bags. I am warning you. Why, why would you search my bag? Where is my money? Wait, Fred, I never took your money, okay? Please go inside and search for it thoroughly. Oh. What are you saying? I know what to do. What are you going to do? What are you doing? Don't touch my bag. Don't you dare touch my bag. We friend. We friend. We friend, where is my money? We friend, I'm talking to you. Give me back my money. Woman, let me be. What is wrong with you? Who is supposed to be angry here? You took my money and yet you are asking me for money. Who took your money? Is it because I've not asked you for my balance? What balance are you talking about? You must be a thief. We Fred, you and I know that. That money that you said I stole, I did not. You did not lose any money. And you still have the guts to seize my bag. And you took away the rest of the money I have in my bag. That is pure wicked. You are a good actress. Are you calling me a fool? No, are you calling me a fool? How would you? Steal my money, I still have the gods to confront me. Well played. Okay. I'm so disappointed in you. Don't worry. Now I'm the thief here who stole your money, right? Accepted. But on one condition, we fed. I'll bring out a Bible here. And you and I will swear to that Bible, then we'll see who stole that money. I am a Christian. Oh. I will not swear to any any anybody. You are a Christian. It's against my religion. It's against your religion. 
a religion that supports stealing should also support swearing, okay? You have to swear to that, whether you like it or not. You're a very wicked person. You're a very, very wicked person. How could you? You stole my money and you still want me to swear to your, to your God? Look, Wilfred, if I open this my mouth and curse you, you will never know peace for the rest of your life. It's you who will not know peace. And you will never know that peace you cost fellow until you save us from this poverty. What is wrong with you? So this is it. We shall see then. I am not swearing to any god. And do not bring any Bible here. Arrant nonsense. Thieves. Hey friend. I've been calling you. What, what is it that you've been disturbing me to see me for since you got back from work? I need to talk to you. All right. Speak. Listen. I want to talk to you about my uncle and the advice you've been given. What about him? Well, the humiliation you've been giving me in this house is really too much and I can't take it any longer. I've decided to do what you want. I don't understand. Please break it for me. You want me to go join him, right? And I've decided to. <sighs> Babe, this is the best news that I've ever had. Listen, it's not like James a humiliation. It's because I love you. And I want the best for us. You want the best for us? Yes. You love me so much. Is that your own definition of love? Tell me. Coming back home late at night, stinkily drunk, shoving me to the couch so many times, even attempting to beat me, and most importantly, denying me sex. Babe. Is that your own definition of love? Babe. That is how much you should know that I love you. I'm I was just doing all that for you to listen to me. I want the best for us. That's why I was doing all that. At least you're happy now. It's not about me, it's about us. Oh. Okay. Now you will see that our life will change for the better. Okay, you know what? I will go get some Trust me. I don't want anything. Alright, sit down. I'll be right back. I don't want anything. Are you ready now? For what? I made something nice for you. I know you'll be tired, so you can't eat. Please stop being nice to me, okay? You've already showed me the kind of person you are. What is it? What is it? You know me too well. I've apologized to you. I mean, I was playing someone else and you know it. Don't oh. worry. I'm not hungry. I would rather have it as supper. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, what all this is about. Thank you. Don't worry. I'm fine. What can I ever do to make you happy? So what's gonna happen to you now? Regarding what? Happen to me how? You know you're jobless. You don't have a job. You're home from morning till night. So what's gonna happen to you? I joined my uncle in Port Harcourt and he still did not ask for you. Point of correction. I didn't leave my job because of you or your uncle. Secondly, I was tired of it. I mean, I can always get a job anytime I want to. Can I ask you something again? Yeah. What if I joined my uncle in Port Harcourt and he still did not ask you to come over? What is gonna happen to us? You Can you it? please stay positive? What's the big deal? You know the clue already. What is wrong with you? I've given you the clue already. Which is? I've told you. When you get to your uncle's place, let him know that you cannot stay a day without me. Let him know that you miss me so much and want me to come over. I mean, he wouldn't have any choice. Look, all I will say is that Let's keep hoping and praying that all this our decision comes out well. Because if it doesn't, you said we 
you are going to regret this. Babe, can you, all, can, you, can, you, can you always stay positive? I am tired of all this already. I am your husband for crying out loud. How would you go there and, and there is no how you would tell him that you, you, you want me to come over that he would oblige? What is it? Babe, that's not why I'm here. I came here to ask you to come join me in the dining room. Please, I'll be waiting for you in the dining room. I'll be having Come on, so eat. Come on, eat. Just help me keep it. Babe. Yes, darling. I want to thank you for everything that you've done for me. I have not done anything for you, okay? I'm doing all this for us. Mm -hmm. Do you want to understand? I mean, since you came into my life, my life changed in all ramifications. Baby, since you came into my life too, my life has changed. Oh. You don't know what it means to get married to a loving, caring, handsome man. Stop the flatter already. You know I'm not flattering you. <laughs> I love you, honey. I love you more, darling. Mm. Aha. At least I forget. Yeah. How is it going with the insurance company? Oh, so much hope. Please. When I got there, the management loved me. Wow. And asked that I resume tomorrow. Are you serious? But then. You need to still keep praying for me. You know, I never stop praying for you. Yeah. I was being selfish. <laughs> <laughs> By tomorrow, 8 mm. a.m., I should be there already. As said the HRM. Okay. So that means we need to sleep. Sleep? Mm-hmm. You still need to serve me my last meal. <laughs> Mr. Wilfred. You had your last meal three hours ago. At the dining. Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Don't even start. Are you sleeping already? Yes. I cannot sleep. I'm snoring. You cannot sleep. I swear I'm snoring. I you cannot sleep. I'm snoring already. You cannot sleep. <laughs> Call. My uncle is so so sick. I haven't called the doctor. Wow. What's the girl? What's the like? Is it too serious? I think it's very serious because for the manager to have called me, ah, I'm so so scared. Hmm. So what do you intend to do now? I don't know. I don't know. I'm totally confused. Ah, I need to speak with my mom. I need to see her. Hmm, you need to see your mom. Yes. You need to talk to your mom. I mean, that's like going to the village. That's like three hours from here. I have to. I've hmm. already called her. She actually sends the panic in my voice. <sighs> Babe, mm -hmm. hope you don't mind. Tomorrow I cannot call you too. Because remember... Oh. Yeah, I know, we are quite friendly, Mr. Lannis. But you need to attend to it, that's right. It's okay, I'll go and I'll go So if you're not changing, I will quickly drop this inside and see you. Oh, okay. How long will this go on? Before you realize you could hurt in yourself. Hurt in yourself. How long will you go on? Your only brother is so sick, and all you could say is, Leave him alone, leave him alone. He has to take care of him. That's not fair. Helene, my brother is a rich man. He has plenty of servants around him. He has money. Eh? He can have everything at his beck and call. Let his servants take him to the hospital. Let him go and take care of himself. Hapa Maka, leave me alone. Mama, I don't like this thing you're doing. I don't like it. Ha -ha. 
you are the only blood he has. And I am, let, let me just go and take care of him. He's sick and he's always demanding for me. Yes, I don't want you to look so cheap to them. If we start going close to him now, they will think that it's because of his money. I don't want. Yes, Mama. He is my only uncle, your only brother. Mm. Everything that he has, his mansion, his money, everything belongs to us. Ezioku, that is what you think. Anyway, <laughs> you're a small girl. You don't know anything. Mama, do, do you want to marry your brother? Mm. Do, you want, do you want to marry your brother? Yeah, what I can uh, leave me alone now. You want to go and see him? Uncle? Mama, have mercy on him. I even wonder why you dislike him this much. I do not dislike him. Heaven knows that I don't dislike my brother. He's my brother now. And he's your uncle, is he not? Even when I got married, you did not invite him. Your only brother. Mama, Helene, Mama, Helene. Mama please let me go. Helen is okay. Let's go. You want to go, Okoya? Okay? Yes, Mama. You want to go and see mm. him? That one will not be a problem. Okay. He's your uncle. That's my mother. Uh, go and uh, take leave from your workplace and mm -hmm. go. This is my mother talking now. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Let me quickly go and get food. And I know you're hungry too, yes. so I'll get yours too. Uh -huh. Get some for me. Thank you, Mama. Mm. Oh, what I can have a good day, Can you not understand? Eh? You need to understand that whole time my brother did to me. Eh? His wife took him away from me. Now he want me to go and reconcile with him. Let him go. It's not me that will heal him. Oh. He has all the money. Let him go to the hospital and God will heal him. Go and get the food. Make sure you take very good care of yourself, okay? When you get to the city, make sure you go and see your uncle as he said, eh? I will. And make sure you eat your food on time. Don't starve yourself, mama. Okay. No problem. So call me when you get there. You go. I will. You want to go? Go well, eh? Bye bye. Call me when you get When you get home, you go. Hey, that's your good. So, I have to take one week emergency leave from the office to go see him. Really? Yes. Is it that serious? Very serious. Oh, I thought Mama was going to volunteer to go be with him instead. Mama, you should know Mama's job by now. They will never allow her to do that. And if she decides to do that on her own, when she's back, she's off that job, believe me. Oh, this is serious, so. So I will try to call the manager. No, oh, the manager. We spoke on the phone. Okay. He said it's stroke. By stroke? stroke? Honestly, it's stroke. This is really serious. Very serious. Your uncle will be fine. I believe so too. That man needs me. He needs me. I need to go. Yeah. Even if my work didn't allow me, I just have to. I pray they give you the emergency leave. <laughs> Sweetheart, even if you do, don't grant me any emergency leave. I will have to go. I don't care. That Sorry. man needs me more than ever. Yeah. I need to go take good care of him. You'll be so tired now. Should I make something for you to eat?
said he cannot work. The doctors only said that so no one will go disturbing him. That is how it is in most cases. Are you sure? Yes. You know what you need to rest now. Come, let's go home. Come, let's go home. Okay. I'm trying. You asked me to put on a chair for me. And I just did. You think you did? But you didn't. <sighs> Where is my for that? Okay. <laughs> Listen, it's not like I know how it is for you, but then I don't want them to know that you have a problem. Okay. So I want you to wear a good face okay. so that. They can give you this letter we desire. I'll try. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let me see you off. Okay. What are you asking me, honestly? Mm -hmm. I would say Mama is hard hearted. Why would you say a thing like that? Yes. I mean. Why is she finding it hard to forgive your uncle? Mama is a good person, okay? She's not <clears throat> holding grudges against anybody. That's Besides, our, our uncle didn't owe us anything, so why should we expect anything from him? That's what you say. That's your own view. People, <clears throat> people would think that because, she, because your uncle neglected you people, that's why she doesn't want to go see him, even on sick bed. No, it is not like that. Mama is trying to protect her job. If she goes, she will lose that job. So that's the reason why, because she, if not, she would have been the first person to say, I will go there. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. I, mean, I, I know that you have a very big role to play because when you get there, they will still ask you of mama. Yeah, I know. The only people that will ask me of Mama are my relations. Exactly. And trust me, every one of them is guilty. Hmm. That's it. I'm just happy that they gave you this letter. Yeah, I'm happy too. All you have to do now is to wait patiently so that he'll come and explain to you what really happened. <laughs> Are you sure he's going to come to me? He might just call me eh? and say he will see me tomorrow. <laughs> well, even if he says it's tomorrow, tomorrow is already here. You just have to wait. No, I will want to see him today. I want to see him so I can examine him to know if he's okay. Ah, my friend, you worry too much. You worry too much. If he tells you that he's okay, then you have to believe him. Hey? Oh, He's okay, you know. Go. <laughs> you always have a way of walking me out of my worries. Of course, that is God speaking to me through you. Hmm? My prophetess. <laughs> eh? My prophetess. Don't worry, relax. Every, nothing will happen to him. Amen. You'll be fine. Hmm. Hey, now, on your part, hmm. what did you think? I said, um, if you ask me, I think my daughter should go there first. I see things for herself before I go there. Hmm. That woman you are working for, she will not allow you to go anywhere. Else. My sister, I don't understand this thing. Do you know that even your husband has talked to her, yet she will not, she, she will not uh, let me go. Hmm. Eh? She will not change her mind. I don't understand. Hmm. She will not allow you. And if you don't go and see your brother, and God forbids, if anything happens, on the line. God forbid. Eh? You will not forgive yourself. I will, nothing will happen to my brother. The good Lord that I serve will heal my brother. Amen. Nothing must happen to him. Amen. Amen. Ah. Amen. I'm not sure you can make the first boss. We know you are. I don't even think you can make the third boss. Ooh, I'm ready. Oh 
people not forgetting anything? Um, if I am, that means it's not important. Let's go. Cool. Okay. What should I have in the back? <laughs> okay, um, honey. Um, I've been thinking about something. Okay, something about what? Um, what if I get to my uncle's place and he didn't get better within a week? That means I have to stay till he gets better. And what happens to your job? Um, I'll just put a call through to them to see for them to see reasons with me. So what if they don't have her? I know they will not, but at least I'll give it a try and if they insist, I'll ask them to get someone else for the set. Hmm. I don't know what to say, but let's just hope and pray that your uncle gets well in this place of one week. Amen, Pastor. Let's hurry, let's hurry, let's hurry. Are you careful? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, my friend. Eh? What has happened has happened. It is eh? not okay. You can't bring your brother back. Che, eh? I could not see my brother before he died. I could not see my brother before he died. Because of that wicked rich man I was working for. Who wouldn't permit me to go and see my brother? Now my brother is dead. Your brother made so much money. He was begging you, pleading mm -hmm. for you to come and join him in Port Harcourt. But you refused. My brother abandoned me. He abandoned me and my daughter because of that wicked woman. <laughs> now that he's dead and buried, <laughs> eh? he weighed everything for you and your daughter. Oh, that is even the painful aspect. Oh, I do not deserve it. <laughs> I don't deserve it at all. I was so mean to my brother. Oh, I could not forgive him. Chief. Oh, God. Ah. Now he willed everything to my daughter and I. God, will you ever forgive me? Oh, my brother, my brother. My brother made so much money for himself and his family. Yet he was buried like a chicken. They could have waited for me to come. Oh, chief, <laughs> what a good man. Eh? Yeah. May his soul rest in peace. Amen, amen, yeah, okay, amen. Okay, okay. Amen. Okay. My brother made okay. so much money okay. for himself and his it's family. Okay. It's okay. I would have listened it's to okay. my daughter. It's okay. It's okay. Now it's okay. he's dead okay. and gone. He's okay. Hey. It's okay. What are you talking about? Listen. I told you before I started this game that you would see the actor die and the bulls leave. She has been miserable all this while. Exactly, exactly. And by then, <laughs> she would realize that all her company has been wrecked. Who? Oh, Helen. The stupid Helen can go lick her wounds for all I can. I can imagine how miserable her life would be afterwards. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. Don't overwrite it. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll give you the details now. You trust me? Yes, sure, yes, sure. All right, all right, all right. No problem, no problem. I'll call you right back. So finished. This is so finished. A trail of tears, a sea of tears. No, 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 no. How long will this go on? 
Before you realize you could be hurting yourself Hurting yourself How long will you go on like this? Before it does some you That you could be hurting yourself Hurting yourself oh, 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 oh. You could be hurting yourself oh, It's the height of deception, bad intentions, yet forgetting that an action brings reaction, measure for measure, oh, when there will be pain and no more pleasure, oh, yeah. then it will be your turn to taste, to have a taste of your medicine. Be your tongue to taste, to have a taste of your medicine. Steven, Steven, I am losing my mind. <gasps> the same letter, she dropped them one at the bedroom, one in the bedroom, one in the kitchen, and one in the sitting room. She just wanted me to know how stupid I am. I thought I was winning. I am telling you. Exactly. The same thing we discussed was what she was trying to prove, prove to me in the letter. I am doing it, Stephen. I don't know what to do. She's not at home. Where? Her mom's place. And so what will I tell her when I get there? How do I convince them? I know. Listen. I'm the one telling you the gravity of this letter. You know what? Let me just, let me just, let me just device me things. I'll call you back. Alright, alright. Just like that.
truth could be hurting yourself. Hurting yourself. Hurting yourself. Oh, 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 oh. You could be hurting oh, oh, yourself. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. You could be hurting yourself. Oh, 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 oh. You could be hurting yourself. Oh, 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 oh. You could be hurting yourself. How long will this go on? Before you realize you could be hurting yourself. You could be hurting, hurting yourself. How long will you go on like this? Before it comes on you, but you could be hurting yourself. You will be hurting yourself.